So, Calvin cycle. Five carbon compound called ribulose biphosphate. Rib means five. O's means sugar. Bi, as in bicycle, means two. And phosphate means it's got two phosphates. So that five carbon sugar joins with carbon dioxide. And this gives us a six carbon compound which only exists for a fleeting fleetingness and then it gets broken down and this six carbon compound produces two three carbon with a phosphate on it because it had was a there's a six carbon with two phosphates and now a three carbon with two phosphates gets split into two so this is three carbon glycerate phosphate right now this will occur without any of the things produced from the light dependent reaction light dependent reaction produces ATP and NADPH now these things are consumed in the light independent reactions but they haven't been used yet because what they're then used for is they're then used to turn this is used and it's turned back into NAD P and the glycerate phosphate is turned into triose phosphate also the ATP that you've made in the light dependent reactions that's also used up and turned into ADP now the triose phosphate this gets used to make glucose, sucrose, amino acids, DNA, RNA, everything in your body and in the plant that has a carbon hydrogen bond in it is all made out of this triose phosphate stuff. But 99% of it gets used to make more IUBP. Also, this step consumes a bit more ATP that comes from the light dependent reactions. Now, the final thing to point out is that this step here, the carboxylation of IUBP, that carboxylation of IUBP is done by an enzyme. Uh, this enzyme is called IUBP carboxylase, and that takes this five carbon compound and carboxylates it. And that is called Rubisco, as in IUBP carboxylase. It takes carbon dioxide and joins it with a five carbon compound. So the story of the Calvin cycle, which is the light dependent reactions, is that this is a series of enzyme driven reactions that occur in the stroma which is like the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, that it takes ATP and NADPH that we've been produced in the thylakoid membranes, and it uses those to reduce the glycerate phosphate to triose phosphate. That triose phosphate is used to make everything in the, in the plant that contains a carbon hydrogen bond. Most of it, however, is used to regenerate ribulose by phosphate, so this process can continue going. It's going to capture one carbon per rotation. So theoretically, this would have to rotate six times to make one glucose. Because the glucose has got six carbons in it. 